What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dr. John Prime. I'm currently here with Zach, the man of the hour. Currently with multiple tops with blue Imperial German. So Zach, can you share with us the deck? Yeah, so I'll just start with the deck list. The babies, um, I actually only play four babies. It's the Demi Vmon that gives you a draw when you swing with a jammer. Um, I used to play five. I tested it and everyone's going to tell me why don't you play five babies. But I'm going to guarantee you that I stay, I never need the fifth baby and I always want this baby. I draw off it consistently, I get through my deck, and I get every card that I usually want. And that's why I get away with playing like two ofs and one ofs. Hey, you want a Japanese demonic too? For the rookies, it's Quad Vimon, Triple Elekmon, Triple Gomamon with gain one memory, and Triple Gomamon to draw one card. Pretty standard rookie lineup. Um, I don't have any too much rhyme and reason except that I like these ratios a little bit. Other than that, before I was playing for Gomamon, but I wanted to have a cheaper two cost, more options for cheaper two cost to on play and then play a blocker over and leave my opponent at one. But that's really about it for the threes. The fours, I only play two of the Xvmon, two Frigimon for the jamming, four Gorillamon for the speed, and four Grizzlymon because I love blockers and uh, I play four blockers in almost every deck I can. <laughs> so everything is pretty natural and normal, I think, for this Blue and Pildramon so far. I don't think there's anything too crazy. Now here you're going to find four Pildramon, of course. This is the heart and soul of the deck is what gets you games, allows you to swing three times, and of course has jamming and it's blue. Uh, I played only three of the Dino Beamon, which I'm testing today. I found that in all my previous tournaments, I I never went below X1, but those X1s were always due to me having too many fives in hand. So I decided to just try it out, take one out, um, and I'm keeping the Chakramon for the Rookie Rush match. Uh, again, this deck draws so much along with the Demi Vmons and all the the jammers between all the levels that usually I do get to see this one up. The only time I don't is if it's in my security. And now for the sixes, I play the four Blue and Pilgrimons. Of course, and then so then a lot of people talk to me about, and they're like, "Oh, why don't you play the green and Pildramon, or why don't you play, you know, maybe a green level six or something?" I play the double Plessio. I I love this card. This card has helped me every time. I mean, just recently in the Ragnar matchup, they put me to ten. I was able to at least on play it, and then play the um, Omnimon over it and take care of the board. So. Double plus has been helping me because I play double, well, before I play double, now I play um, triple Omnimon. I also found during those games where if I was clogged with fives, I didn't have any type of disruption. And if I'm going to on play a five and go into a six, I at least like to have the Omnimon as well. So I've added this, it used to be a two, now it's a three. And that's it for the Digimon. And when we get to the options, it's four Hammer Spark. Course. I play the one Positron laser. Now, um, today, before I was playing the four Dino Beamon, and um, in the past I was playing the green and Pildramon, now I've kind of dropped so much green. I don't know how I feel about this card. It's still super strong in security. It's an amazing security card. So right now I'm still keeping it at one. It didn't really affect me, like having it in hand. I never felt like, oh, I wish this was something else. So I'm keeping it for now. And then I added the one Kakaitis Breath. Really first, um, just again for that additional um, disruption because again that was my main issue with this deck was probably clunking the fives and I didn't have enough disruption. Like if my opponent put a 12k blocker on the board, it was only one or lose um, or hope they swing with it in Positron, which they usually won't because it's a blocker. So I'm talking about the Ragna matchup mainly. Um, anything with Ragna Blocker was too difficult unless I had the Omnimon. So I pumped up the Omnimon and I added the Cockatus Breath in, in order to deal with that matchup. And then last but not least, I was playing three, I'm playing two now, and I drew them fine today. Uh, so two Davises, and those would be my Tamers. Um, but that's the deck. And when it comes to matchups, I personally, I th I've said it before, <laughs> uh, but I just don't feel like there's any difficult matchup. To me, it's just drawing the cards and getting the right cards that I need for the matchup. All right, thank you so much for your time, Zach. Uh, remember, guys, we rip by nature. Have a great one. <laughs>